Good news for all you coffee lovers. A study out of the University of Missouri said that stopping for a cup of joe at a coffee shop like this one is good for you. Good news for all you coffee lovers. A study out of the University of Missouri says that stopping for a cup of joe at a coffee shop like this one is good for you. Good news for all you coffee lovers. A study out of the University of Missouri said that stopping for a cup of joe at a coffee shop like this one is good for you. Good news for all you coffee lovers. A study out of the University of Missouri said that stopping for a cup of joe at a coffee shop like this one is good for you. Get in and get out. That's the MTA's plan to do late night repairs on subway lines four nights a week. This 4-5 train line is the first to get repaired as part of the Fast Track program. Get in and get out. That's the MTA's plan to do late night shutdowns to do subway repairs four nights a week. This 4-5 line is the first to get repaired as part of the Fast Track program. Get in and get out. That's the MTA's plan to do late night shutdowns to do repairs on subway lines four nights a week. This 4-5 line is the first to get repaired as part of the MTA's Fast Track program. Get in and get out. That's the MTA's plan to do late night shutdowns to do subway repairs four nights a week. This 4-5 line is the first to get repaired as part of this Fast Track program. According to the latest polls, last Friday's jobs report was good news not just for the economy, but for President Obama's re-election, where the economy remains the number one issue for voters. According to the latest polls, last Friday's jobs report was good news not just for the economy, but for President Obama's re-election campaign, where the economy remains the number one issue for voters. According to the latest polls, last Friday's jobs report was good news not just for the economy, but for President Obama's re-election, where the economy remains the number one issue for voters. According to the latest polls, last Friday's jobs report was good news not just for the economy, but for President Obama's re-election, where the economy remains the number one issue for voters. Fun, educational, and free. That's right, New York City offers many free options for parents who want to teach their children, like here at Federal Hall, which marks the place where George Washington took the oath of office as the first president of the United States. Fun, educational, and free. That's right, New York City offers many free options for parents who want to teach their children like here at Federal Hall, which marks the place where George Washington took the oath of office. Fun, educational, and free. That's right, New York City offers many free options for parents who want to teach their children, like here at Federal Hall, which marks the place where George Washington took the oath of office. Fun, educational, and free. That's right, New York City offers many free options for parents who want to teach their children. Like here at Federal Hall, which marks the place where George Washington took the oath of office as the first president of the United States. Fun, educational, and free. That's right, New York City offers so many options for parents who want to teach their children. Like here at Federal Hall where the statue marks the place where George Washington took the oath of office as the first president of the United States. After the break, I'll tell you why stopping at a coffee shop on your way to work is good for your health. After the break, I'll tell you why stopping at a coffee shop like this one is good for your health. Coming up after the break, I'll tell you why researchers are saying that a stop at a coffee shop like this one on the way to work is good for your health. After the break, I'll tell you why a stop at the coffee shop on your way to work could be good for your health. After the break, I'll tell you why researchers are saying that a stop at a coffee shop on your way to work is good for your health. 